is going to be Clemson Notre Dame 7 30 p.m eastern start time now the Tigers of Clemson are the five and a half point favorite on the road totals 52 flat the Tigers are 7-0 straight up on the season they're coming fresh off a 34-28 come-from-behind victory against a tough Boston College team. Now, you might think uh, that, that that was closer than it should be, uh, but that was a resilient victory for the Tigers. And keep in mind, they played last week without Trevor Lawrence due to COVID. They're, they're going to once again uh, going to have to go to work without Lawrence this week. Um, he's going to be out again with um, COVID protocol or whatever you want to call it, contact tra uh, tracing. But uh, anyway, having said that, backup DJ Uulele is completing 70% of his passes for 444 yards. He's actually gone 42 of 60 to be exact. Now, Uulele's also rushed it 14 times for 57 yards and three scores on the ground. He's averaging 4.1 yards a carry. This Clemson defense is going to be asked for a big effort again this week, and I think they're going to deliver. They're allowing just 15 points a game through seven ball games, and... Uh, the Tigers have successfully covered the point spread in two out of their last four. Now, Clemson averages four sacks a game, and they have 28 total sacks on the season. They've also forced 13 turnovers, thanks in part to nine big interceptions. Safety Nolan Turner has three interceptions on the season, 21 total tackles. Defensive end Miles Murphy also has three and a half sacks on the year, two forced fumbles. And linebacker Balen Spector is leading the team with 39 total tackles along with two and a half sacks and a forced fumble. Clemson's won their last 13 straight road games. They're uh, taking on a Notre Dame squad who averages just 206 yards a game through the air, and they've thrown only seven touchdown passes through six games themselves. Their top receiver, Javon McKinley, is gaining just 44 yards a game receiving, and he's scored zero touchdowns thus far in the season. So uh, through the air, these guys really haven't been a legitimate threat now, the Irish have failed to cover the number in three out of their last four. They're also just one in three against the spread on their home tour, uh, turf. Uh, Notre Dame has also failed to cover the point spread in four out of their last five conference ball games. Now, total-wise, three out of Notre Dame's last five contests got over the posted number. Meanwhile, Clemson on the other side saw their last three straight get over the line themselves. So with all that said and done, I know they got the backup quarterback. I get that, but this guy's talented and probably could start on any other team. Give me the Clemson Tigers minus five and a half and the over 52 in that game. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Louisville, Virginia, 8 p.m. Eastern kickoff. The Virginia Cavaliers are the two and a half point favorite at home. Total 67. Now the Cavaliers.